six. Are you available? Copy. Two forty negative. Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that crumpet shop off Post Alley. Thanks, three o three. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that ten. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Copy that. All backup available. Hey, you didn't do anything. It's gonna be alright. Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there. What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's dad, he wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a 10 year old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So, so what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Now 
Man, we need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So, you want to hit or not? Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa! What the hell are don't you doing? Don't move! You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Is this how you see a penis? Damn, you should try and actually see one for real. You don't want to go down that road, dude. My chances of scoring tonight are probably ten times yours. <laughs> you wish. <sighs> These fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah, you're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. <laughs> hey! Perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh. Sure, but I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. 
That would be you. Really? Hey! No shh, fair! Shh, shh. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Hmm. Please, Judge Diaz, be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week. Or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. Daniel was guilty of being a brat. So the Choco Crisp goes to Senor Diaz. What? No way. You're a cheat. <laughs> nope. I'm the law. Your Honor, I can't let you punish an innocent man. So? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always knew you'd confess. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. I have to go to work in my room, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Don't hurry back. <sighs> okay, let's get this party list started. Dad flips out if I don't pick up my stuff, but Daniel leaves his shit all over. Every Christmas, Dad wants to watch the Lord of the Rings trilogy with us. That's cool. That's right. Que pendejo. Real funny, Dad. Real funny, Dad. You're coming with me. Mm. Maybe this is better. Cross that off the list. Food down, drinks to go.
That'll do. Bet there's gonna be a keg at the cabin. Damn, Lila's so hyped up for tonight. Better hurry. Well, it's not my turn to do the laundry. I'm broke, so I better find some cash for tonight. Do not enter. Ever. <sighs> Trust me, Dad. I won't. Do not enter. Ever. <sighs> Trust me, Dad. I won't. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? How long is he gonna keep all this shit? Thank God I don't have to take one of Daniel's. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. That you, Sean? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Candy. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Told me to tell you hi for him. How's this leg? Well, you know, old fossil. Hey, I got it. I think. Hmm. You should have a flex head. I can't reach that bolt otherwise. Hey, did you get your English midterm back? 
Uh, yeah. I got a B. A B? Here you go. Nah. I need one with the black switch on it, so I can change its direction. Is that it? Hmm. Wrong size. I need a 16 millimeter. Okay, hey, forget it. I'll do it with this one right here. It'll probably work. Oh, shit! All right, never mind, enough of this. I'm done. Hey, quick tip, my son. Go Google wrenches and see what you can learn. <laughs> yeah. Um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while, too. And... you happy with it? I mean, your job? Living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Ugh, oh, come on. It's wicked. I'm just not used to driving. You better get used to it, or you'll be taking your date to prom on the number 30 bus. Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock-blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock-blocking is. He looks up to you, Jean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way... Ha! I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean, yeah, probably, but we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home, I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow, but yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus... I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. Don't worry. We got smartphones and stuff. We can call a ride if we need it. And I can always text you. I try not to. Or, you know, you could have sent my friend request on Facebook so I could keep an eye oh, on... Oh, my God. Okay. I have to go. Thanks, hey, Dad. Hey, hey, Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun, but not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo.
Dad's a pain in the ass sometimes. But he's awesome. Looks like I got everything. Better pack it all up. Finally ready to go. Time to Skype Lila on my laptop. Damn. I still have like 10 books left in the series. I won't finish until I'm 20. Oh, lover boy. Just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <laughs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so... We're set for the night, in case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? I don't know, whatever. Do I need to practice? <sighs> I've seen you in action. Yes, you're totally into her, right? Duh, why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's Sean. into you. Sean, I'm done, look. I made zombie blood. It's um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey, hi <sighs> Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just- Come on, man. Just uh, Just bugging the uh, shit out of what? me again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, what? I know. Anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? <gasps> but I want to see zombie blood if you don't. <sighs> That's all you got to say? You wouldn't be so uptight if you got laid. And maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. Hey, are you listening to me? Um, you know something called multitasking? <laughs> That's a girl thing, no? Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it out. It might get your attention. Whoa, her hair. Whoa, indeed. I, I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, you will see. It will wash off. You'll see. No reaction, no like, no nothing. Hey, uh, I don't appear like a stalker or something. Okay, okay. Touche. <sighs> Why is Derek Anderson all over Jen's profile? <sighs> He's an a- Leave me alone! I'll tell my dad! Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween. Uh, don't ever touch my brother. You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz. He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt. Look! I told you, it was an accident. 
You better leave us alone. Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage. Pussies. You think you own the block? Step back. He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, <laughs> motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Sean, you hit him! <sighs> get inside now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <sighs> You and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! What? What's going Fuck on? Me. Daniel, get over here! Sean, is he hurt? Okay, okay, step away. Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! <laughs> on the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating it. up my little Underground. brother. Now, hands behind your head. Sean. This is fucking bullshit. Oh no. Sean, what's Down happening? Down the ground, Sean. Dad, we didn't do Sean, anything. Sean, be quiet. I swear. Oh, Sean, Sean, listen. Oh. I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy, be quiet. I want to go home. They're good kids, officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything. I said don't move. We didn't Daniel, do anything. It's going to be all right. On the ground.
No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... but... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being being at home or or in your room. This is a a real adventure, right? So come on. Let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I'm so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know, I know. Hey. At least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome possum. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude, a Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? Uh, like, you don't whine, too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and no. run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah!
there yet? Dude, stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that. Ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp at. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. I told Daniel not to walk here, so I should probably do the same. Hope the driver isn't around watching us. Um, A car out I here? See something. Hope the driver isn't around yeah. watching us. What do you find? Check it out! There's a chunky Choco Chris bar on the dashboard! Yeah, I see it. You know I love Choco Chris bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on, can we please, please, please get one when we stop next, please? I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just don't eat me. I'm so hungry. Let's just hope that doesn't now. happen while we're here. I hope there'll be plenty at the net store. Now we can see where we are. Whew. There's a river nearby. A river? Are we gonna go swimming? No. Duh. It's way too cold for a skinny butt. Okay. How? No reception in the shithole. Come on, Daniel. The sun is going down. <sighs> okay, dude. You have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh, well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Especially after you use it. Man, people don't even read the signs. It's Sean? Look how big he 
these trees are. Eh, that's only because they need the sun. Besides, they'll protect us from the rain. What if they don't? What if they uh, attack us? Hey, you watched Lord of the Rings with Dad like a hundred times. Here's a chance to go on a real adventure with me. Hmm. So I'm like Frodo, and you're Sam. Uh. <laughs> well, I was thinking, Daniel. Check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. Whoa! That place is huge! Yeah, it's kind of cool. Where are we going? Hmm. The river must be a bit further. Let's take a look around. I don't think Daniel understands what's going on. I can't tell him the truth now. I just can't. Ooh, Sean! Let's play hide and seek! Bet you can't find me. No, not right now. We stick together. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Not today, I'm not. Sorry. Whatever. How am I gonna tell him the truth? Now we know what not to do, right? I guess. I don't like it here. Picnic and hiking site. Well, I bet nobody comes out here to picnic anymore. Well, that's good for us. No camping? Uh-oh. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna find us out here. Do not feed or disturb the animals? What? What kind of animals? Like bears? Or coyotes? Or... More like squirrels, rabbits, critters. Just don't bug them and they won't bug us. They're way more scared of us than we are of them. Unless they're angry or hungry. Okay, come on. Don't freak yourself out. Let's go. Be starving. Raccoons are way smarter than us. He'll find more food. What if the raccoon came with us? He could be our pet. Oh, man, raccoons are not a pet. You ever see their claws? Yeah, but this one likes me. Until you run out of food. Let it go, Daniel. Tree. 
Okay. Now it's your turn. Hop on down. I'll catch you. How come nobody is out here? Huh? It's October. People don't hike as much. So why are we? Because we can. We're badass warriors, dude. Cool. Come on. I got you. <clears throat> Phew. Thanks. Uh... You see that? Looks like a clicker. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there? I don't know. Uh, come on, Daniel. Look, this could be our secret base. We could stop any orts from capturing us in here. Cool. In that case, we definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? Uh, you know, shit to make a fire. Um, twigs, branches. Oh. You sure we can do this? Who can stop us? Nobody. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally. Coming! Hey, Sean! Let's have a race. Whoever finds three logs is the winner. Cool? <laughs> okay. You're brave to challenge me. So let's do it. No way you're gonna beat me. Now this is perfect. I wish Noah was out here with me. We could build... Nice and dry. 
Ooh, Daniel is in it to win it. Hmm, that's enough for a toasty fire. Hey, Daniel! You can stop! Why? We got enough for tonight, man. Mm. You're cheating. You're bigger than me. <sighs> Who cares? Now we got some time to explore before we light up the fire. Cool. I'll go check the river. Man, this place is like their own giant camp. We should catch some fish for dinner. Check this out, Sean. Whoa. Nice view. You can see so far. Wait, I'm coming. It's beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest. Hey. Look at those clouds. What do they look like to you? I don't know. Cotton candy? <laughs> That's it? Cotton candy? I don't know. What do you see? A dragon. What? Where? Okay. There's the tail. And the horns. And the fangs. And the smoke coming out of its mouth. Oh, I see it. It's awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a pet dragon? something else. There's a giant douchebag. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where? <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here, huh? <laughs> uh, come on. Let's go eat something. All right, and I know. We're cave people now. Time to make fire. We make fire. Can I help? <sighs> you have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes! Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry, sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. 
It's warming up. I wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Oh, dude. That shake was so good. Can't believe we found a diner on the way out here. <laughs> I want another one. I know. We'll get you one. Promise. Man, this is the coolest secret base ever. Nobody's gonna find us. It's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Do you think there are werewolves for real? Dude, we are the wolves. Ow! See? Man, I made a fire tonight. That would be proud. Wonder if I'll ever go back to school after this. So tired. Oh, you look tired. Ready to crash? I've been ready all day. My feet hurt. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. Ugh. Better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Without you, there's no fellowship. That's cool. My eyes won't stay open, son. Sleep tight, bro.
Daniel? Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sh Sean? Where... Where are we? Right here, in the park. Remember our amazing fire? Fine. I'm right here. Don't worry. Okay. I won't. As long as you're here. Go... go back to sleep. You need your rest. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just... just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. The Four Secret Milkshake Factory. <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. Let's walk a little more. There will be a rest stop or something where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry. But he didn't like his, so he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? We waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. You did stand up for me. With Brett. For a change. Yeah. Well, he had it coming. Yeah, I kind of wish you weren't so mean all the time. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm trying. Okay. Shit, my phone's dead. I'll just check it later. <sighs> Come on, stay off the road. Be a good example.
I can't wait to tell our secret adventure to Noah. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. I hear you. We're gonna get food, water, and plus a map so we can find the best route. All right. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. I hope. Huh. Sean, can we find some food? Hello there. Whoa, Sean, hey. they have Shoto Crisp. You promised I'd get Six one. This down is a sharp one. Perfect blue sky. That would have loved this so much. Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! Hmm. Never heard of that team. Hey, Don't come see! Don't worry, we'll get you a new family soon. Right. I'll just bust out my platinum card. Sean? Seven down. Can't go wrong with these. Yes, okay. That would be P P R O P A. Come on. So cool. Mm, hot dog. Yes, gas station food is nasty. <laughs> but I like it. I could eat dozens of these. Weird to be in here after the forest. <sighs> like another world. Watch where you're walking. Don't want mud all over my store. <laughs> of course they did. Why the fuck not? Hi, what are you looking at? Oh. Hey there. Well, I'm actually doing research. It's, uh, not for you. Why? Like, dirty stuff? Yuck. It's, uh, adult stuff. I'm nine years old. I know these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Daniel. Hey, Daniel. I'm Brody. Why are you looking at adult stuff? For work. Ooh. Okay, must be a nice job. At least it's got a lot of sugar. Keep our energy up. Well, see you. Ooh, 
Sean. Go on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. Hey, what about that? Let's see. Be... See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, bear. So cool. Then he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you could tell. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Who sends postcards? I'm Daniel. So what exactly are you doing all the way out here? It's a secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds intriguing. Did you make all these bears? Oh no. I won't take any credit for the bears. That's all on my husband. He won't stop making them. Oh, no matter how much I beg. Oh, I think they're so cute. Well, good for you. Sure glad somebody does. Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. I think that's it. Okie dokie. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. with an M. Hey, look! Empty table! Oh, let's grab it and check out this map. It's our table now! <laughs> yep. Let's see, what do we got here? Huh, is that all we've got? Sorry, no. better than nothing, right? Yeah. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. You guys lost? Uh, nah. We're good. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. 
But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah. No way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah. Okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Hmm. We have to be somewhere southwest of Mount Rainier. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. Nope. This can't be here. Um... Definitely not there. Damn. Where can this be? Damn. Where can this be? All right. This is it. Are you sure? Yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so... Can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Aww. But it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh... Sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. And you can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Or I will. Excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it's okay. Look, our, our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch my brother! you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh, shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. We'll get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. Then they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. You saw it in the paper. 
Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. Uh. Watch it, punk. Whatever. You're going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Shit. Bastard turned the lights off. Fuck. Plastic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. I wonder if I could get more light from it. Yes. That's a little better. Daniel? I'm right here. Are are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. Can you try and open this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. What no? Don't worry. We'll figure something out. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. It is, but be careful, it might attract him. Hey, you think you can open the back door?
blocked. What do I do? I don't know. <sighs> of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Right. I need something to break this shit. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. And I know, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. This is it! You rule, Daniel! Anything else you can see? Yes! Tear this fucking thing off! Come on, let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. Still here. Stay cool. You're you're doing great. Uh, come on, you mother. Yes. Score. Come on. Okay. Hold on. Come on. Yes! Sean! Oh, God. I was so scared. What happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay. We need to cut this off. Fast. Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. Daniel? What? What happened? What? What did you do? It's okay. You're safe now.
You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. Where are we going? Sean. Watch out. Over there. Let's go. I don't know. What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? You don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you. Okay? She's crazy out in the woods. Get in. You too. Hurry up before he catches us. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. The Saint Seattle no more. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about... Mushroom. She totally looks like a mushroom. <laughs> Come on. That's not even a name, dude. But I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Okay, okay. You win. <laughs> but this one's on you. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, 
You got the best name ever now. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? 
I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends. Family. A home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got... nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but... What you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Cut question. I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. Maybe this is crazy, but should we just keep going till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's... Out of the picture. But dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. 
Time to hit the road. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it. Go, Mushroom. Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Whoa, what did you find? You just killed a shark. <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room, no big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen. I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. 
Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dot? <laughs> sure. It's... Your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Good. 
I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpeng. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Uh, okay, okay. Fill her up. Daniel will love this. Redneck hit me hard. I hit him harder, though. Hey, Daniel. Bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad, there's no time to lose. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this. 
or she'll get into trouble too. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Okay. No, it's 
the barn. I want that. <sighs> Me too. I'm sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean, am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together They had to find a new home. They started a journey. 